all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and library application and in this video we'll be working on displaying the preview image while uploading this profile photo currently we are just displaying the name so let me show you the demo of what we are going to build first so if i click on browse and select this image and we see the preview image this is with liveware so also uh, while editing the image we see this preview image as well and if i choose different one we see this one and if i click on browse and I click select another image and it got changed over here as well and we can edit the image as well so let's get started building this feature all right first of all let me fix one issue let me show you the issue first so if i add a new user and browse this image okay and we see this image over here and if i click on add new users and it is still here as well and it didn't got removed right so if i click on edit we see this as well so we need to reset this field so let me go to list user component class list users component class and while adding the new user we are simply doing this state to empty away so with a uh, live way we can simply do this reset so that it will reset our public properties okay so we don't need to do this so it will reset the photo as well okay so let me refresh it and try it again click on add new users browse image and we see this one and if i click on any users and it got removed right perfect so now let's display the preview image over here if we select specific image so let me go to list users the blade psp file and let me go over after profile photo right after this level so we can do if there is a photo if there is photo then let's display the image uh, else we display another image right and if and in the source we can do simply do photo with library we can simply do photo temporary URL right and then let's add some styling let's do the class with the image image circle and the style with the width of 50 pixel so let me test it add new users browse and we see this preview image over here so let's add few classes so let's make this play of lock and margin bottom of two add new users browse select this one and it is perfectly aligned perfect so now uh, if we click on edit uh, we see this image right we don't want to make this happen as well we see the same image so while editing we need to display this particular image right so let's do that as well so over here uh, while editing let me go to list users or uh, let me go over here while editing let's do this first of all reset the public properties so we can do this reset okay and let me refresh it and click on edit and we don't see it right okay so now we can do uh, on list users.blur file over here can simply do uh, state and avatar url and let's 
add the classes as well let me copy it, everything from here and then paste it now if I refresh it we see this error called undefined index of the URL so we don't have this so let me go to user.psp and then we have created the accessors so to make this available on array we need to do we need to add the protected property over here called appends and then we want to append avatar url right avatar url and snack case perfect so now if i go to list users and then let me die end on this state to show you and it is saying it is still saying avatar url so let's do let's display the empty uh, url if there is no the url as index so now if i click on edit and we see this one avatar url right edit to our array and we can simply display this so let me remove dd and click on refresh okay now if i edit and we see this image right if i click over here and we see the different image perfect so now we don't see yeah, this image over here so we don't see the default image so let's do one thing let me go to users.psp and let's add another con condition over here if there is avatar and storage dex avatars exist exist we can do exist this avatar if there is this file on the text as well we are adding two conditions one for one to check if there is uh, that particular value in the database and x as well as there is file on the text yeah we got the default image so now the remaining thing is to make changes if i click on browse and select a different image and we need to change it over here as well so to do that let me go to list users and then while updating the user let me copy the same code and over here let me paste it and we can do the same right let me edit it and then select different image okay we display that to be image and click on save and it got sensed over here but let me show you one thing that we are keep adding the images and um, old images as well so we don't want to make that happen so let me go to storage app avatars so let me delete every images from here to show you yes I deleted every images and if I edit select this one click on save and we edit one image again if I click on edit and then click this change the image and if I go over here we see that image got added so we don't need to make this happen so so we need to delete the previous image and replace with the new one so let's delete the previous image using storage index of others and then delete we can simply call the delete method and then we can pass the path this photo no sorry this user avatar Okay, so now if I refresh it and we see currently two avatars and if I click over here and change the print one and click on save it is saying store is not found so let's put the name spacing first yep 
I think it didn't got added so let me try it again the spelling is mistake the storage storage yes it got imported over here so let me try it again yeah currently there are two avatars if I click on edit select the different one and click on save it got sensed and we have to amazingly perfect so this must for this video so I hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and I will see you in the next video